Hello, people. Welcome to another edition of the Sean Suzettes. I'm here to preview Extreme Rules this Sunday on Dig Network. I'm excited. It's going to be a good show. Some solid match looking forward to. There's been some good build on Raw. And Raw's been pretty good lately. I really enjoyed it. Diddy's really stepped up their game. So let's go to the card. The pre show is the WLC match between Hornswell and Trio. It's been a, a, a pretty entertaining rivalry. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's kind of funny. We all see. It's just be interesting. So we'll see how that is. Then we have uh, Jack Swagger versus Arnold Rubber Dam in a triple elimination match. That's going to be really good. It's, I think that's going to steal the show. Cesaro's been doing really good stealing the show. And with him as a Paul Heyman guy, that's awesome. Adding Robin Dam to the mix, I don't think that was necessary, but I guess it's something for him to do. I would like to see more of a Swagger Cesaro one on one contest, but you get what you get. Cesaro gets to win here. Then we got the squash match, Xavier Woods meeting Alexander Rusev versus Arthur versus Xavier Woods. I really wish he had more to do for Eric Xavier Woods. He's a good athlete, really good personality. I wish he had better things to do. Then we have Big E defending against the against Intercom title against Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett's been great. A bad news Barrett, I mean. He's doing great with his new gimmick. It's really good. He's getting over the crowd. A great heel. His run in Toronto term has been awesome. And it really made him as a viable number contender. And the term was an awesome idea. We had some great matches. And the term I really enjoyed. Now to cap it off, he wins. That's going to be awesome. They got a book in the wings. He's so hot right now. And Big E's just down right now. Nothing really special about Big E. But way better than I see his new Intercontinental Champion. Then we have a naturally good women's match on the card. We have Tamina Snook, who's a great women's wrestler, <coughs> facing Paige for her WWE Studios title. It's going to be good to give him time. These matches will be really good. Give him 10 minutes. Think Paige can get the win and really cement herself as a top diva. And then we have John Cena versus Bray Wyatt in a steel cage. I really hope this match is better than the WrestleMania match. The WrestleMania match wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. It just wasn't great. I think this match will be really good. Bray Wyatt is so over right now. His promos are awesome. And the Kid Choir last week, the Bills were great for this match. I hope Bray Wyatt wins. That's what I'm hoping for, Bray Wyatt. Let's see what else we got. We got Daniel Bryan versus Kane. I wish Daniel Bryan had a better rivalry for his first indie world heavyweight title shot. I mean, title defense. The Sterling Kane in there. Kane's a good employee. He's, he's, it's a decent feud. It's just... Kane beating him up. It's an underdog story. Classic Daniel Bryan. It's, it's a Extreme Rules match, so that's Kane's specialty. Daniel Bryan's going to make this good. and They're both going to be making good. It's going to be a solid match. I'm not going to be bad. I just wish there was a better storyline for Daniel Bryan. Hope going forward, Daniel Bryan has a lot of better contenders. Like, Daniel Bryan versus Cesaro would have been a great match. But Luke Cesaro up as a Paul Heyman guy, but he stuck Cesaro with Swagger. Yeah. In the main event, this, this match has been built up good. Evolution vs. Shield. Randy Orton, Batista, Triple H versus The Shield. This is going to be an awesome match. I don't know if it's going to be good, but good as Shield vs. Wyatt's, but it's going to be up there. Triple H always brings his A game. And Orton Batista really surprised me at WrestleMania when he put on a really good match with Dan and Bryan. And The Shield's really going to be the out of all three of them, I think. I wish this match would have like a stipulation, like maybe reward games, or elimination style. Because you make it to Tree Rules, and only one match, two matches have a stipulation. Then why call it Extreme Rules? And there's no going to be no blood. So, call it Extreme Rules. No, it's not. It's really WrestleMania repeat. Because there's a lot of repeats on this card. The, usually, WrestleMania is a uh, reset button. But there's nothing really new on this card. We all knew Cesaro was going to feel the swagger. We all knew Cedo and White were going to face off. Paige, I guess, is Diva Champion. That's kind of a surprise. Tamina is on the card. That's a surprise. Daniel Bryan Kane, not much of a surprise. But this show's going to be pretty good. I think there's going to be some solid matches. My match of the night, I think, is going to be Cesaro, Swagger, and Riverdale. Just because I like all three, and I really like their matches on Raw. Van Dam's really been bringing it lately. I'm really pissed with Van Dam. Not be there to collect the paycheck like he was in TNA. He's in good shape right now. He's having good matches, and I think he can help. Uh, stay in there with the young boys and really compete. And it's going to be the first, uh, second review on Network, which now is a special event. So it's going to be interesting. So if you, it, it's still on cable to order for review. Also, it's not on this Network order to be, so you got to get the Network. If you don't have the Network, you're a fan, why not? Tell me the reason why you don't have the Network. It's stupid. The Network's awesome. So yeah, 
Extreme Rules this Sunday at 5. It'll be a good show. And Oh, and the Usos are defending their tag titles? That is bullshit right there. The tag team, I just remember that. I was just looking at my uh, weapon right there. Usos, nope. Really? You put a WLC. You put midgets on the pre-show and no Usos? Man, that's freaking stupid. Maybe the Usos are close to Matt Dory's. That could be good. Usos are right back, so? Come on, people. Come on. Really, did he? No, Usos. The tag champs getting the shaft right there. And with the network, you can make the pre-show an hour and put the Usos in a match. Put it two pre-show matches. But a WLC match instead of a tag team title match. The Usos lose out to a bull and a midget. In a bull and a leprechaun. Man, that's just sad right there. But still, a solid card. Yeah, just sad. So, as always, follow me on Twitter for all my Beyond Wrestling tweets, my AIW tweets, all that. So, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sound sense? Subscribe, like this video, share it, retweet it, all that shit. Hope this video went up because last video had audio issues, so hope this works. So, uh, make sure to... Uh, Buy a shirt, postings.com slash Sean Sense. And peace.